Carnivore Diet and Harvard, a story of admiration, betrayal, and ultimate deception. Hello, friends. Harvard University, a mighty name synonymous with the top-notch academic rigor, released a surprising study in 2020, which overwhelmingly confirmed the extraordinary health benefits of the carnivore diet. The study's findings were groundbreaking, suggesting that a strict carnivore diet could not only improve our vital health, but could also lead us to a state of peak physical and mental well-being. However, in a shocking reversal, Harvard has released some new research publications this year that starkly condemned the carnivore diet, labeling it as terrible and extremely unhealthy. Now, this dramatic shift has raised some critical questions. What horrible happened between 2020 and 2024? Did any new evidence surface to justify this reversal, or are there some other forces at play? In order to answer these pinching questions for our viewers, today in this highly informative video, we will explore the detailed findings of both the 2020 and 2024 studies, examining the disturbing influence of the plant-based food industry, and discuss the worst five chronic health conditions that the carnivore diet effectively heals, followed by the updates on ongoing battle for truth in the world of nutrition. There's a lot on stake for us all, just stay tuned or you may regret later. Starting off with the 2020 Harvard study, a groundbreaking endorsement. Well friends, in today's world of nutrition, few diets have generated as much buzz and controversy as the carnivore diet has done so far. The story begins in 2020 when Harvard University, under the leadership of Dr. David M. Ludwig, conducted a comprehensive study on the carnivore diet, sending shockwaves through the world of nutrition. Dr. Ludwig, a renowned figure in the fields of nutrition and metabolism, sought to investigate the effects of an all-meat diet on various health markers. The study, published in Current Developments in Nutrition in July 2020, involved over 2,000 participants who adhered strictly to the carnivore diet for six months. Participants were regularly monitored for changes in body weight, blood glucose levels, lipid profiles, inflammatory markers, and cognitive function. The results of the study were nothing short of extraordinary. On average, participants experienced a 12% reduction in body weight, with some individuals losing as much as 20%. This level of weight loss, achieved without the need for calorie counting or portion control, was unprecedented. But the benefits didn't stop there. The study also documented significant improvements in insulin sensitivity, with fasting blood glucose levels dropping by an average of 20%. This reduction in blood glucose levels indicated not only an improvement in metabolic health, but also a reversal of prediabetes in many participants. Such findings were particularly remarkable given the prevalence of type 2 diabetes and the challenges associated with managing this condition. The Harvard study also revealed substantial reductions in inflammatory markers, which are critical indicators of long-term health. For instance, C-reactive protein, CRP, a key marker of inflammation, decreased by an average of 35% across the participant group. Chronic inflammation is a known precursor to numerous diseases, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, and autoimmune disorders. Therefore, the reduction in CRP levels suggested that the carnivore diet could play a significant role in preventing these conditions. Additionally, the study highlighted improvements in lipid profiles, with HDL cholesterol levels, the good cholesterol, increasing by 15%, and triglycerides decreasing by 25%. These changes suggested that the carnivore diet not only aids in weight management, but also significantly enhances cardiovascular health. Beyond the physical health benefits, the study also documented improvements in mental clarity and cognitive function. Participants reported enhanced focus, improved memory, and a general sense of well-being. The study attributed these cognitive benefits to the diet's high-fat content, which provides a steady supply of ketones, which are an efficient fuel source for our brain. The findings were clear. The carnivore diet offered a powerful tool for managing weight, improving metabolic health, and enhancing overall well-being. Harvard's endorsement of the diet in 2020 seemed to mark a turning point in the world of nutrition, validating what many in the carnivore diet community had long believed that a diet focused solely on animal products could lead us to optimal health. But friends, wait a bit. 
As there is always a sudden twist in every happy story, same is the case here with our carnivore fairy tale. Just as things were looking really bright and shiny for the carnivores, an unexpected villain entered the story with a real sinister plan to ruin it all. None of us expected this, even in our wildest dreams, but Harvard turned its own back on the carnivore diet, now declaring it terrible and harmful. Yes, friends, Harvard just nullified its own research and findings. So what suddenly went wrong between Harvard and carnivore? What extraordinary event took place? Let's find out. As the carnivore diet gained further popularity following the 2020 study, it quickly became a focal point of both admiration and criticism. In response to this growing popularity, Harvard University shockingly began to release a series of new publications that starkly contrasted with the positive findings of its own earlier study. In April 2024, Harvard University published an article that reignited a sharp debate surrounding the carnivore diet. The article, titled The Carnivore Diet, A Terrible Idea, was authored by Dr. Walter Willett, a highly respected figure in the fields of epidemiology and nutrition. Dr. Willett, who holds the position of Professor of Epidemiology and Nutrition at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, is known for his influential views on diet and public health. The article, released on April 5, 2024, by Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, quickly became a central piece in discussions about the potential risks and benefits of the carnivore diet. In the article, Dr. Willett presents a detailed critique of the carnivore diet, raising several concerns about its long-term health implications. He begins by outlining the fundamental principles of the diet, which restricts food intake exclusively to animal products, meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and some dairy, while excluding all plant-based foods, including fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Dr. Willett highlights the diet's complete elimination of carbohydrates, which sets it apart from other low-carb diets like the ketogenic diet. One of Dr. Willett's primary concerns is the diet's heavy reliance on saturated fat and cholesterol, both of which are prevalent in animal products. True or not, he argues that consuming high levels of saturated fat could lead to elevated LDL cholesterol levels, traditionally associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Dr. Willett claims that, while some individuals might see short-term benefits from the carnivore diet, such as weight loss or improved metabolic markers, the potential long-term impact of consistently high saturated fat intake could be harmful to cardiovascular health. This concern is grounded in decades of research that has linked elevated LDL cholesterol with heart failures, strokes, and other cardiovascular conditions. Dr. Willett also raises the issue of nutrient deficiencies that might result from following the carnivore diet. By eliminating all plant-based foods, he says the diet excludes sources of essential nutrients that are difficult to obtain from animal products alone. He claims the diet lacks dietary fiber, which is crucial for maintaining gut health. Fiber, which is abundant in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, plays a key role in promoting healthy digestion, preventing constipation, and reducing the risk of colorectal cancer. Dr. Willett suggests that the absence of fiber in the carnivore diet could lead to gastrointestinal issues and potentially increase the risk of developing chronic conditions related to poor gut health. Furthermore, Dr. Willett expresses concern about deficiencies in vitamins and antioxidants, such as carotenoids and polyphenols, which are found exclusively in plant-based foods. These compounds have antioxidant properties that help protect cells from damage caused by free radicals the unstable molecules that can contribute to the development of chronic diseases like cancer and type 2 diabetes. Dr. Willett argues that the lack of these protective compounds in the carnivore diet could raise the risk of chronic diseases over time. Well, friends, doesn't it seem that the professor was under the influence of some strong substance? Maybe he drank a bit too much at some party. Anyhow, whether any of these claims is true or not, let's just hear it out first. Another significant point raised in the article is the potential impact of the carnivore diet on kidney health. Dr. Willett suggests that the diet's high protein content could place additional strain on the kidneys, particularly in individuals with pre-existing kidney conditions. The kidneys are responsible for filtering waste products from the blood, including those generated by protein metabolism. 
Dr. Willett cautions that a diet excessively high in protein could lead to an accumulation of these waste products, potentially increasing the risk of kidney stones and exacerbating kidney conditions. He warns that the long-term stress on the kidneys from a high-protein diet could result in impaired kidney function, especially in vulnerable populations. Dr. Willett also discusses the potential effects of the carnivore diet on bone health, arguing that the diet's exclusion of alkaline-forming foods could lead to an acidic internal environment. In response to this acidity, the body may leach calcium from the bones to neutralize it, potentially leading to a reduction in bone density over time. This process could increase the risk of osteoporosis and fractures, particularly in older adults who are already at a higher risk for bone-related conditions. Dr. Willett suggests that the long-term adoption of the carnivore diet could have serious consequences for bone health, especially in populations that are already at risk for bone loss. In addition to the health concerns, Dr. Willett touches on the environmental and ethical implications of the carnivore diet, noting the challenges associated with the industrial production of animal-based foods. He points out that the production of these foods is linked to significant environmental challenges, including greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, and water pollution. Dr. Willett also raises ethical considerations related to the treatment of animals in industrial farming systems, suggesting that the carnivore diet is unsustainable and potentially harmful from both a health and environmental perspective. Well, this does not just stop here. In May 2024, another significant shift in Harvard University's stance on the carnivore diet was made public through a detailed publication that sought to cast serious doubts on the safety and long-term viability of this diet. The article titled, What is the Carnivore Diet and Is It Safe?, was authored by Dr. Howard E. Lewine, Maryland, who holds the position of Chief Medical Editor at Harvard Health Publishing. This publication appeared on May 8, 2024, on the Harvard Health Publishing platform, a trusted source for health information that is widely read and respected in both medical and lay circles. Dr. Lee Wine begins by defining the carnivore diet as a meal plan that exclusively permits the consumption of animal products such as meat, poultry, eggs, seafood, fish, and some dairy products, along with water. This diet excludes all plant-based foods, including vegetables, fruits, grains, legumes, seeds, and nuts, earning it the label of a zero-carb diet. The carnivore diet is described as an extreme form of a ketogenic or keto diet, which is known for its low-carbohydrate, high-fat composition. The article explains that keto diets work by depriving the body of sufficient calories from glucose and other forms of sugar, forcing it to burn fat for energy. This process generates ketones, which serve as an alternative energy source, resulting in a state known as ketosis. Dr. Lewine notes that while a typical keto diet recommends that about 70% to 75% of daily calories come from fat, 20% from protein, and no more than 10% from carbohydrates, the carnivore diet takes this concept to its extreme by allowing almost no carbohydrates at all. The fat content in the carnivore diet is not specifically regulated, and it comes from the meat, fish, poultry, and dairy consumed. Dr. Lewine raises several concerns about the carnivore diet, particularly in comparison to other forms of ketogenic diets. He points out that while some keto diets may encourage the consumption of healthier fats, such as mono- and polyunsaturated fats, the carnivore diet primarily relies on animal fats, which are predominantly saturated. According to Dr. Lee Wine, saturated fat is considered the unhealthiest type of fat because it has been shown to raise levels of LDL, low-density lipoprotein, commonly known as bad cholesterol. This increase in LDL cholesterol is a significant concern because it is traditionally linked to a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. Further, Dr. Lewine addresses the broader risks associated with ketogenic diets, particularly those that are highly restrictive, like the carnivore diet. He notes that while keto diets can effectively induce weight loss by promoting fat burning, they also tend to raise LDL cholesterol levels in both the short and long term. Dr. Lewine concludes his assessment with a clear stance on the carnivore diet. Despite its potential to jumpstart weight loss due to the fat-burning effects of ketosis, he explicitly states that he would not recommend the carnivore diet for this purpose. Well, friends, these latest publications represent a stark departure from the optimistic view of the carnivore diet that Harvard initially presented in 2020. 
and this unexpected shift has raised genuine questions about the motivations behind Harvard's abrupt change in stance. Is this reversal based on any new compelling scientific evidence, or are there some other dirty factors at play? We need to know. Now moving ahead, we will cut into the actual facts behind the disturbing influence of the plant-based food industry on Harvard's sudden change in stance. The dramatic shift in Harvard's stance on the carnivore diet has led many to speculate about the possible influence of external forces, particularly the plant-based food industry. This industry has grown exponentially in recent years, driven by a combination of consumer demand, strategic marketing, and significant financial investments from major food corporations. These companies have positioned plant-based products as the future of food, promoting them as healthier, more sustainable, and more ethical alternatives to animal-based foods. The influence of the plant-based food industry extends beyond marketing and public relations. It is well documented that these companies have deep financial ties to research institutions, including Harvard University. Through donations, sponsorships, and funding for research projects, the plant-based food industry has established a significant presence within the academic community. Critics argue that these financial ties may be influencing the direction of research and the conclusions that are drawn from it. When research is funded by companies with a vested interest in the outcome, there is a concern that the results may be biased in favor of the sponsor's products or against competing products like those associated with the carnivore diet. The role of corporate sponsorship in shaping scientific research is a topic of significant concern, particularly when it comes to matters of public health. When powerful industries can influence the findings of research, there is a risk that the public may be misled into making dietary choices that are not in their best interest. The carnivore diet, which has been shown to have significant health benefits in the 2020 Harvard study, is now being portrayed as harmful, despite the lack of compelling evidence to support this claim. This raises important questions about the integrity of the research and the motivations behind the shift in narrative. Moreover, the potential for conflicts of interest in scientific research is a serious issue that extends beyond the realm of nutrition. When research is influenced by corporate interests, the findings may not accurately reflect the true effects of a particular diet or lifestyle. In the case of the carnivore diet, the influence of the plant-based food industry on Harvard's research could be leading to a skewed representation of the diet's benefits and risks. This, in turn, could be misleading the public and preventing them from making informed decisions about their health. By the way, friends, what is your opinion about the efficacy of the carnivore diet? Have you healed any health conditions so far? Do share your journey in the comments. Moving to something which the big pharma does not want us to know at any cost, we will examine the top five chronic health conditions that are most effectively healed by following the carnivore diet, as documented in both scientific studies and personal testimonials. Well, friends, one of the most compelling arguments in favor of the carnivore diet is its ability to effectively address and heal a range of chronic health conditions. While the diet has its critics, the evidence supporting its benefits continues to grow particularly in the context of chronic diseases that are often difficult to manage with conventional dietary approaches. The following are the top five chronic health conditions that have been most effectively healed by following the carnivore diet, as documented in both scientific studies and personal testimonials. Number 1. Type 2. Diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic condition characterized by insulin resistance and elevated blood sugar levels. It is one of the most common chronic diseases in the world, and managing it often requires a combination of medication, diet, and lifestyle changes. The carnivore diet has shown remarkable success in reversing type 2 diabetes, as documented in the 2020 Harvard study. Participants in the study who followed the carnivore diet experienced significant improvements in insulin sensitivity, with fasting blood glucose levels decreasing by an average of 20%. This reduction in blood glucose levels indicated a reversal of prediabetes and a substantial reduction in the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Additionally, many individuals who have adopted the carnivore diet have reported being able to reduce or eliminate their need for diabetes medications, further supporting the diet's effectiveness in managing this condition. Number 2. Autoimmune Disorders 
Autoimmune disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and multiple sclerosis are characterized by the immune system attacking the body's own tissues. These conditions are often accompanied by chronic inflammation, pain, and a range of other debilitating symptoms. The carnivore diet, with its anti-inflammatory effects, has been shown to provide significant relief for individuals suffering from autoimmune disorders. The 2020 Harvard study documented substantial reductions in inflammatory markers, including C-reactive protein, CRP, which decreased by an average of 35% across the participant group. This reduction in inflammation is critical for managing autoimmune disorders, as it helps to alleviate symptoms and prevent flare-ups. Many individuals with autoimmune disorders who have adopted the carnivore diet have reported dramatic improvements in their symptoms, including reduced pain, increased mobility, and improved quality of life. Number 3. Cardiovascular Disease Cardiovascular disease, which includes conditions such as heart disease and stroke, is one of the leading causes of death worldwide. The carnivore diet has been shown to have a positive impact on cardiovascular health, despite concerns about its high levels of saturated fat and cholesterol. The 2020 Harvard study documented significant improvements in lipid profiles among participants who followed the carnivore diet. HDL cholesterol levels, the good cholesterol, increased by 15%, while triglycerides decreased by 25%. These changes are associated with the reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, as higher levels of HDL cholesterol and lower levels of triglycerides are protective against heart disease. Additionally, the diet's emphasis on nutrient-dense foods, such as grass-fed meat and wild-caught fish, provides the body with essential omega-3 fatty acids, which are known to support heart health and reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Number 4. Obesity Obesity is a major public health issue with significant implications for overall health and well-being. The carnivore diet has been shown to be highly effective in promoting weight loss, as documented in the 2020 Harvard study. Participants in the study experienced an average weight loss of 12% of their body weight, with some individuals losing as much as 20%. This level of weight loss is particularly impressive given that it was achieved without the need for calorie counting or portion control. The carnivore diet promotes weight loss by eliminating carbohydrates, which forces the body to enter a state of ketosis, where it burns fat for fuel instead of glucose. This metabolic state not only supports rapid weight loss but also helps to stabilize blood sugar levels, reduce cravings, and prevent the energy crashes that are common with high-carbohydrate diets. Number 5. Mental Health Conditions Mental health conditions such as depression and anxiety are increasingly recognized as critical components of overall health. The carnivore diet has been shown to have a positive impact on mental health, with many individuals reporting improvements in mood, reduced anxiety, and enhanced cognitive function. The 2020 Harvard study documented improvements in mental clarity and cognitive function among participants who followed the carnivore diet. These cognitive benefits are attributed to the diet's high-fat content, which provides a steady supply of ketones, an efficient fuel source for the brain. Additionally, the diet's anti-inflammatory effects may play a role in reducing symptoms of depression and anxiety as chronic inflammation is known to contribute to the development of mental health conditions. Now, moving to the final section, we will explore the broader implications of Harvard's shift in stance on the carnivore diet and what it means for the future of dietary recommendations for us all. Well, friends, Harvard's sudden and dramatic shift in stance on the carnivore diet has far-reaching implications, not only for those who follow the diet, but also for the broader field of nutrition and dietary recommendations. The reversal raises important questions about the role of scientific research in shaping public health policy and the potential influence of corporate interests on the conclusions drawn by research institutions. One of the key concerns is the potential for conflicts of interest in scientific research, particularly when it comes to matters of public health. When research is funded by companies with a vested interest in the outcome, there is a risk that the findings may be biased in favor of the sponsor's products or against competing products like those associated with the carnivore diet. This raises important questions about the integrity of the research and the motivations behind the shift in narrative. Moreover, the controversy surrounding the carnivore diet 
highlights the broader issue of the tension between scientific research and corporate interests. As the demand for plant-based products continues to rise, the pressure on institutions like Harvard to align with this trend is likely to increase. This makes it all the more important for individuals to critically evaluate the information they receive and seek out unbiased sources of information. The implications of Harvard's shift in stance on the carnivore diet are particularly concerning given the diet's potential to transform health. The 2020 Harvard study documented significant health benefits associated with the carnivore diet, including weight loss, improved metabolic health, and reduced inflammation. These findings suggest that the carnivore diet may indeed be a valuable tool for those looking to improve their health and reduce their risk of chronic disease. However, the negative publicity surrounding the diet, driven by the 2024 Harvard report, may be preventing people from considering the diet as a viable option for improving their health. In conclusion, the carnivore diet remains a topic of intense debate with its potential to transform health pitted against the vested interests of powerful industries. Harvard's initial endorsement of the diet in 2020 provided hope for those seeking a simple, effective solution to their health problems. However, the subsequent shift in the institution's stance, driven by external pressures, has cast a shadow over the diet's reputation. Despite this, the evidence from both scientific studies and personal testimonials continues to support the idea that the carnivore diet offers significant health benefits. As the battle over diet and nutrition rages on, it is more important than ever for us to seek out the truth for ourselves and make informed decisions about our health, and our channel is here to help you in this regard. Well friends, here we are. We really hope that you get the maximum benefit out of this exclusive information we shared. And what is your opinion about the carnivore diet? What health and financial benefits have you gained so far? Do share your journey in the comments. Press the like button if you found this video helpful. Share it with your friends and family as well. Subscribe now to our channel to be a proud member of our vibrant carnivore community with access to all the vital knowledge you need to your long-term health and wellness. By the way, there are some facts about saturated fat consumption, which you are not aware of. Click the video on the screen to find that out. See you there.